What's up guys? I'm back with another editing tutorial. Today I'll show you how I record cinematics with the Skin Spotlights camera tool. I'll leave a link in the description on how you can download it. So first of all, you want to open a replay file. You can use any replay program. I'm going to use Skin Spotlights replay. So you open it up. You open it up. There we go. And wait, I'm going to go to the toilet while I wait. Okay, so we got the, let me close this, we got the Skin Spotlights camera tool right here. Like there's so much to show, I'm just going to show you the basics and I'll let you guys experiment with it. First of all you have to add your keyframes, so, oh I set your key bindings. So you wanna, I got F5 to add a new keyframe, F6 to clear keyframes and F7 to play through everything. So what we want to do is, go to options, change the camera mode to FPS, which is for first person, and we can move around the Summoner's Rift in 3D space, let's just disable the HUD, and then answer. Let's speed up the camera speed, so we can move around a bit faster. So let's say we want to do a cinematic from the blue base to the red base. So I'll click F5 right here. Then move to the middle maybe. F5 again. And then to the red nexus. And F5. Then I'll press F7. And we get a cool cinematic. Then we press F6, and I deleted all the keyframes, so I can do a new cinematic, like F5, F5, and then F7. It's super easy to record these cinematics. But like, there's so much stuff you can do. You can disable the terrain, you can set a sky color, let's say light blue. We got this blue color. You can roll the camera, you can zoom in, zoom out. You just have to set these key bindings to whatever you want. And to set a key binding, you just double click and click the key that you want to. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you learned something. I'll try to make more tutorials. But yeah, let me know in the comments below on what you would like to learn next. 